Recording has started. Hello, everyone. I hope you can see my screen. Uh, so today I'll be showing you the uh, newest integration into our pipelines. So we had this project called AICVCI, uh, which is technically our build pipeline. Uh, uh, using this, we had created another project called Meteor. Similarly, we, in this project, we are uh, doing new integrations uh, to firstly secure the whole supply chain. Uh, so we have used the newest component in Tekton CD called Tekton Chains to secure this. Uh, so I'll just take you through how we integrated it. And if you feel free to also use it in your own projects. So uh, there are a few documentations on it. Uh, so I'll just give you a brief overview of what happens in Tekton Chain. Uh, it takes a task run, which is the building block of a task. Like if you provide a declaration of uh, what should happen in a task, like for example, just take it as a build of an image. So that particular task or declaration is taken and it's run through a task run. So when a task run executes, the Tekton chain, which resides uh, in the same cluster, will look up on that task run, use that same service account, which is attached to it, and then you uh, take that uh, for build block of the image and then try to uh, secure it by adding uh, a manifest ingestion, like the manifest which it was used into it, and then sign it with, uh, there are multiple methods for, for us, we are using the cosine method, it signs with the cosine method, and then push the uh, digest again, uh, sorry, push the secure, uh, ma uh, the, the manifest which has it, uh, which has the security information, uh, the sig signature, uh, along with the image to the same registry. So we have introduced that into our ASVCI. I can, I'll show you on my own cluster, uh, as I have some cluster and main privileges here, so I can show you different namespaces. So firstly, we installed Tekton Chains, uh, which goes into Tekton Chains namespace. Uh, it's a simple controller. Along with this, we create a for signs, the signing secrets. So this is basically a secret which will be used to sign the uh, building block. But then we, once we have attached this, we provided some uh, roles so that it can view our other projects. So technically for our AICVCI, so it can view that. And along with this, whenever we use a service account, we also add our uh, pushing secrets to that service account. So for example, my currently my service account being used is uh, AICVCI. So along with this, we have attached the image pull policy so that it can pull from dot station. Uh, so when an image is built, uh, so let's take a look. Uh, so let's, so I have a test project, which I have, or I'm try using for today demo, and then I'll create a ta uh, tag release for it. So a tag release was already done, so I'll just re-deliver it so that we can have a look at it. So as we start the pipeline, the pipeline will start. It will try to build the image. Uh, by the time it's completed the image, we can see in the Tekton chains that it has started to look at, look up on that image. So as you can see, the name has started to come up. So it will keep on checking the task run. As soon as it finds the task run, which is called build, it will uh, capture, the, uh, capture the inputs from it, uh, which is image digest and an image uh, look at like the URL and then push that secret to there. So let me show you what is to be done on the AI, like the from the pipeline side. So what we need to do is, um, so for example, we have this tag, uh, tag released us, which I have updated. So we need two results. Um, and the results are called, uh, results are to be defined as images. So images will take up the pull path plus the SHA, the image digest. So we, as we push two images from our build, one is for the actual tag and another is for latest. We use this image digest. And then once while we are pushing, we'll use this digest to provide to our image. And once we have done that, 
we will write them to our images uh, result. And this is taken by the tecton C chain and it will based on the based on those and the secret it will try to uh, after signing the secret it will try to push it to that particular uh, registry image registry so yeah that's about it uh, and it's right now it's also done in operate first we have opened the pull request and once they are merged we should have this uh, available one slight hiccup which is uh, as of now happening is Currently, there is a little problem with pushing to uh, Quay, and that's because Quay is running on a little behind version, and we need to uh, wait for the new release of Quay. And that should be, once it's done, we, we should have the whole feature in our operate first deployment so that others can use. Uh, thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I think we had that in a in a personal conversation. So um, signing really means we put a secret into the container image, so that we can validate if the secret is the one provided by us. Correct? Yes. And then so we can not, reach. Yeah, exactly. So so it's not really wrapping up the container images and puts it in an encrypted file, like um, as we see with uh, GPG. It's more yeah. like embedding a signature so that we can validate. Yes. Okay. And that um, new version of Quay uh, that we require that will be rolled out on Quay IO also, or is that is that is that separate? I think it is the Quay IO. Once we update there, it's the manifest schema version, which is right now deferring. Uh, still at v1, we need v2, and which will be available in 3.6. That's what. As mentioned here, and there are some uh, correlating issues. And is there um, other uh, container image registries which support what we need? Is it is it a Quay specific problem? Yeah, this is a Quay specific problem. There is the Google image registry where you can push, and I'm working on the internal image registry. So if you can provide them the uh, DSL certificate, then it can authenticate it and start try to push there. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah. Other One question that, yes, uh, that part where you, I'm not sure if I understood correctly that you have to modify each task to add an additional result. Yes, so initially we did not have a result called images. So this specifically, the Tecton CD requires a, a result called images where it can look up the image names or the image path, uh, so that's the newest integration to it. So it's called, so if there's only one image, you can provide image digest and it should take it up. But if there are two images, you need to use images. I think that's the okay. keyword to be used in which you will put the full path. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks, Harshad. Um, I think in some point in time there will be a second part or the the counterpart of the demo checking signatures, right? Yes. Yeah, that should be also. We can also do it with the Tecton task because we will have our secret. We just need to match it if it's correct in that image which we have uh, added with. Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, thanks for that. I'm gonna stop recording. <laughs>